Hey, welcome to another episode with what's next on the list with Oli. Um, this video is about a fireplace slash TV wall that I'm building for my master bedroom. So let's get it started. So, see progress? I just started building my back wall. This is the back wall right here. I'm gonna finish doing that first. So I added this one top like this. So I have space to screw it into my wall. And then after that, I put the front. The fronts are longer because I'm gonna, so the back is shorter because I'm just doing it from the top molding right here to the back. So I am gonna attach it to the stud and then the front will go up to the ceiling almost and then when i put the drywall i just close the gap real quick it won't be a big deal so i'll show you guys i'll show you more when i get it done i'm just trying to get this front so far done today whatever i can get done i'll get it done tomorrow i'll finish the rest all right guys as you can see i just put some um, plaster on it just to make sure I sealed some stuff that I needed to fix real quick um, This is technically day four um, Day three was mostly Plastering making sure that you know put the corners. I got some corners from Home Depot I got some edges to to make the TV nice and Rectangle however, you know as far as the bottom the fireplace. I didn't touch that I didn't put anything just because the fireplace is gonna go in there and once it goes in <clears throat> that will close everything you know it would it will seal so the next step once that's done i'm gonna just send it send down the the remaining of stuff that i need to send down and just make sure it's nice and smooth um day five will be just put a primer on it um the primer i got was a primer that has a seal in it so what it will do is just like seal that any little holes that i missed out all right, so this is before the final product. Um, as you can see, I use the primer to make sure that uh, after I send it down, all the holes are closed, everything is nice and clean. Um, so next phase is to put maybe a wallpaper or panels. Um, waiting for a simple from a company that we order wallpaper from to see if we like it if not we're going with the panels and then we're gonna paint it so but right now this is what it looks like and on the floor this is the fireplace and the mantle that's going in the middle so stay tuned I'm gonna show you guys what the final product looks like all right so I'm on the final phase of putting this panel up. As you can see, this is what it looks like now. So I've seen a lot of videos on YouTube. They don't show you a lot of the, you know, the ups and down of putting something like that together. So um, for me, the biggest challenge was the, um, not challenge, I wouldn't say, just cutting the frame for the TV side, right? As you can see, guys, it's not like, 100% level, but I plan on putting a, on um, a molding there, a corner molding to, to make it nice and clean once I finish. Um, and again, um, the top, I am going to go back to Lowe's and I am going to purchase a molding that will fit nicely, maybe like a flat one, because obviously once I put the... Um, floor molding at the bottom and start it from the bottom you always have to start from the bottom and um this is something i'm gonna have to fix in a second maybe just put a new uh as you can see you know just put something in there like that boom uh we definitely need something like this so nail gun is a must so next step i just finished the sidings um obviously i'm gonna fill this out fix a little bit, um, you know, fill it up before I paint it. 
Um, this is just the starter. I already measured my fireplace, it works well. Next step is this final. I have to cut about 18 pieces or 19, I think. 10 inches each, which is easy. It's, this is, but once you finish, this is what it will look like. And it takes time, okay? I'm not gonna lie to you guys. This is not a, um, a one or two days job, so right? I mean, I work full time, so I have no time to do this all day. But um, after work, I started yesterday on this. It took me about five hours to get half of it done. Mostly, actually, most of I more than half. And then today, been working on it since 10 a.m. So um, it's like two something right now. So it takes time because you have to make sure you measure and you cut properly. Because one screw up, you can mess up this thing, and then you know that's it. Um, here, I just have to like it's coming off. I just have to put a nail there. That's not a big deal. And then, you know, it takes time. So you got to be patient and you got to make sure you do your measurement right. Especially in the corners, it's not going to be nice and clean. I'm not a professional. So obviously, if you're a professional and you're watching this, don't judge me because this is the first time I'm doing this. But at least you can see all the corners lined up very nicely. Once I put the filling in there and then I paint it, it's just going to look like it was nothing there. So don't judge me if you're a professional. This is something I started doing myself. I watch a few videos and this is how it comes out. Okay, so, <clears throat> you know, this is progress, but it takes time. Okay, guys, if you plan on doing something like that at your own home, you can do it, but don't expect to get it done in two days. Okay, because this takes time. It's all about measurement, measuring the right proper way, and then making sure that you have everything lined up properly. Because one screw up, you're done. Okay, so that's why I have to make sure everything is lined up properly. Once I put the filling in there, I just have to nail this a little. Just put a nail there because obviously I didn't put one here. Um, but yeah, once you do that, you're good to go. You know? Um, and of course, I'm going to go back here, man. And then close, uh, put the filling in this. Um, now that I just put in, so it's not a big deal right now. So I just want to make sure that, you know, these are attached properly. You have to make sure you do it for each and every one of them. All right, so, yeah. Um, you know, take your time, do it right, and then, you know, you're definitely gonna like the result. Um, you know, this is not a two second job, so. Sorry if you hear this. I'm just making sure that this is nice and clean. Uh, but yeah. Anyway, stay tuned for the final product. I should be done by tomorrow. Today, it's all about finishing up, closing the gaps, and then also um, put, <coughs> putting, sorry about that, um, putting the filling on the way I put the nail. And then after that, maybe I will start painting tonight. I doubt it, but if I can, I will do it. Most likely by tomorrow, they should be painted. Um, I'm gonna finish the molding on top, and then that's it, okay? These are some of the tools that you need, the trammer to cut this, because I'm gonna put um, the molding. I wish I could have found a molding like the ones that I currently have, but thank God I did not include it because, you know, look at the space I have. The gap is so small, so I don't know how I would have been able to fit it, so. Good thing I didn't buy it, so anyway. All right. So welcome back. Um, <clears throat> so this is the final product. This is what it looks like. So I would just want to mention a couple of things. So during this whole project, my wife and I were going back and forth about the design, color, and everything. I myself wanted to do a dark color, but she doesn't like any dark colors, so I had to compromise. <laughs> because the idea of the panels was my idea, and then she wanted to do a wallpaper. So we've tried a couple... A wallpaper simple that actually we actually ordered one from this website that came in and I tried to put it on there and it was horrible it looked cheap it looks like a paper that was just printed on top of and I had to stall all over again so and then we ended up ordering a couple simples that came in and we hated it so I told my wife listen I'm making an executive decision to just go ahead and put the panel in even though it took me two days to put this on because of again work schedule so I start on the Friday afternoon and I finish on Saturdays 
So everything that in the previous videos that you guys were watching, a lot of things have changed, especially with the molding, certain things about the design and everything. So I had to make a few adjustments, but it was all worth it. So I would say like this project cost me about twelve to twelve hundred dollars top. And the most expensive things that I purchased for this project was the fireplace from Wayfair, which is great by the way. Comes with a small remote control. You can change the color, do whatever you want with it. You know, turn the heat. It it has heat. Um, you know, my son plays with these things all the time, so I haven't really got to enjoy it yet. But it's great. It looks good, and also the mental. I purchased this as you can see in the previous video. I ordered a a smaller version of that, and and I realized that this was not going to work. So again changes so i returned the small one so i got the 60 inch width and with the ninth inch depth so which means that this from left to right is 60 inch from here to that so if you can see um let me show you better so it's a little lower than the usual usually it's typically in the middle to look better but my wife wants to put some decoration especially during the holidays christmas she asked me to put a lower. I was like, okay, you know what? <laughs> Had to compromise, right? As you can see, this is not a gray color. It just looked like a gray color for some reason. I'm not sure why. But you know what? Compared to the room, you can see the difference. Um, this is a beige. Let me put it next to each other. You can see it. And I, listen, I had to compromise, right? The wife wants something. I had to give it to her. So with that being said, this is what it looks like. And I just want to point some things out. Um, I know in the beginning, we talked about the TV. As you can see, I painted the back, put a nice molding here to cover the gaps. It makes it look nice and clean. The TV mount over here, it's easy to remove. Do whatever you want with it. I went with the siding. These things were expensive at the Home Depot. Lowe's had the more expensive, but Home Depot was $20 for eight feet. That's crazy, but you needed that. So as you can see here, I covered the gaps from the previous videos, um, cut the molding. You need tools to do this project. You cannot just do this project by hand. You need proper tools. And I can tell you that for a fact because those paneling, you have to make sure you cut them to the point. You know, you can't just cut them, expect them because all this edges I had to cut them angle by like 45 degrees some of them you know to make sure like they fit properly so when I put this it looks nice so as you can see everything is nice and flush you can see that um, right here everything matches there's no issues so anyway um, people love it people showed up to the house sees it they're like oh my god it looks good again I would have preferred a dark, darker color but hey when you married man you have to compromise and deal with it, no matter what. Um, I left a little small gap at the bottom. Um, I left a couple of small gap because I want to get a nice soundboard to put underneath the TV in the back. So we could just cover it so that way I can just have easy access to turn it on with the remote control. But anyway, guys, so this is what it looks like at the end. All those previous videos you are watching, um, you know, had to make a few changes as you start this project you have something in mind but things will change okay but this is what it looks like hopefully you guys um picked up a few things from my from this project and um you know and you enjoyed this video um again thank you for watching if you enjoyed this video this content i've been putting on um that's why it's called the way it is the name um because i do these things myself i buy things and i, I do this little projects because when you own a home you have to learn, man. You have to learn. I don't care who you are, females, male. You have to learn because people are going to charge an arm and a leg to do these things. You're not going to be great at it at first, but at least, you know what? You learn along the way. So, anyway, thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Click that no notification bell. And see you guys on the next one. I appreciate you watching. Thanks for the love and support, okay? If you have any questions, feel free to ask. And I'll, I'll put the links of the mental and the fireplace. Uh, on the description because some, I think this mental is out of stocks but if you are interested in buying it if it comes back in stocks then you can purchase it this is the Glen Oak 
by the way, for the mental. So kind of like match the flooring. Um, but yeah, thank you for watching. Bye.